All right, well, uh, I had the uh, request by a couple different people on uh, how to break down the 1911-style guns. Uh, I had a good uh, response from my, my Glock video on how to um, field strip that, so I figured I'd do another one uh, on this gun. Uh, what's pretty cool about this is that all 1911, just like the Glocks, uh, you know, all Glocks break down the same way, and all 1911s break down the same way. I and mean, true 1911s are going to be exactly the same. So it's kind of a good bit of information to know uh, if you're going to get into guns. Um, what I'm going to be using for this as a tool is a Victorinox um, Tinker. Um, the first step to this uh, is to push this piece down here and uh, you have the, all the pressure from your recoil spring. Uh, so it's kind of hard and it's, it's a thin rim so it really digs in your fingers. Most people will use, they actually sell a tool for this um, which I believe is uh, rubber if I'm not mistaken so it doesn't damage the finish uh, on, your, um, on that piece. Um, however, I just use the uh, you know flat end of a um, the screwdriver on uh, a Swiss Army knife. I just find it easy. Anything flat, you know, something metal so you can push down. Again, uh, if you're worried about the finish, if you have a black uh, finish on this like I do, um, you could see maybe just a little bit of that wear. Not a big deal for me. Um, I mean, I, I really don't care. But like I said, if you maybe have a more expensive gun or you don't want to worry about the finish, just use something that's rubber. Uh, but it's just basically to push down on that, okay, because it's a little rough on your fingers, you can see there. Uh, but anyway, that's how you start off. Actually, first thing you want to do, of course, whenever you're handling any gun, is to check it and make sure it's not loaded. Um, I'm going to pull back the slide, lock it in place, I'm going to look in there, uh, make sure I do not have a round in there, you know, feel in there, make sure it's not, nothing's in there, it's empty. Then release the magazine, no rounds in the magazine. You can put your magazine aside for now, you don't need that. Um, release the slide. Now I'm actually going to uh, put the uh, um, safety on. I'll flip the safety up. Okay, put that on. This way that the slide, when I do this first step, the slide won't move. That'll lock the slide in place. Okay, now I know that the gun is uh, unloaded and I'm ready to disassemble it. First thing you want to do is push down on that piece. Okay, again, just using the tip of this push down on it, okay, and this piece here you want to rotate towards you, okay, see this? Now once this goes, uh, actually going to stop right here, um, there's a lot of pressure built up in here, so once this piece goes all the way around, this is going to want to shoot out, okay, so as you're pushing this piece all the way over, rotating it, you want to put your fingers over here um, and to absorb some of that pressure, okay, because you do have a lot of pressure built up there. Now you have this piece here, I don't know the technical term for this piece, I apologize for that, um, but that's that's your piece right there. Um, then you have your recoil spring. You pop that out. Now you can actually take this piece out if you want at this point. Um, just rotate that back around all the way to the back, and it should slide right out. You see there. Now this will only go in one way. Okay, so it does have to be uh, it does have to be only in this position here. If you have it on this side and you try to pull it out it's not going to come out. So you'll find that you know it only has to be in this, this position here. And it should slide right out. So you put that aside. Now you can come back around here and you can uh, take your safety off because now you want to move your slide. Now you have two notches in here. This first notch here uh, is where your slide release catches you know when your slide comes back in uh, using the gun. That's where it's going to catch okay, to lock your slide back. Um, the other notch here is your takedown notch. You can see that, the smaller one here. I'll use this to point. Let me bring this back and give you a better, better look at this. This notch right here, the larger one, is uh, you know, for your, um, when you're using the gun. That'll, that's what's going to lock uh, with this. This second little half moon notch, that's your takedown notch. Now you want to line that up with the top of your lever here, just like that. Okay, right above where, where that lever is. Now at this point, you can just uh, flip the gun over. Now this lever here goes all the way through the frame and through the barrel, and this is the other side of it. This little, uh, you know, looks just like a round nub. All you can do, all you have to do is just push on that. Just push on that so it's flush, you know, when your finger's flush with the frame, that'll actually push that lever out just a little bit. You can see the space between there. This is what it is before. When you push on that, I'll try to get you some light. When you push on that, you're just pushing out the piece a little bit. So now you can just grab it, and you want to remove that. Pull it all the way through. And 
put that aside. Now you can uh, turn this upside down and remove the uh, base of the gun. Okay, just slide right off the uh, right off the slide. And you can put that aside. Now you have your um, guide rod, which you can slide right back and out. Very simple. It's just kind of resting there. And then of course your barrel. Now you have a piece here that's going to swivel back and forth. Um, this is what your actual um, what this goes through. This goes through the slide, through that hole, back through the slide. Okay, that's what locks everything in place there. Um, when you're taking your barrel out, make sure this piece is just down all the way, otherwise it won't slide out. And you can just slide that. You're going to push up on the bottom here. Just push up to loosen a little, and then I'll slide right out the front. Just like so. So those, those are all your, your pieces there. Once you get uh, familiar in doing this, it doesn't take very long to do this. Uh, it is more complicated than the Glock uh, and some other guns, but it's very straightforward. And once you know how to do it, it's become second nature. Uh, when I actually, uh, when I first got this gun, I looked up here on YouTube to see how to disassemble it. And there are a couple great videos already that sh explain this. I just want to make my own version of it. All right, well, now that it's apart, I'm sure you'd like to know how to put it back together, huh? <laughs> I uh, stopped film not realizing that I should probably just show you how to reassemble it. Um, instead of making a separate video, I figured I would just uh, conjoin the two. So this portion of the video is going to show you how to reassemble uh, this 1911. Uh, same thing, I'm just using that same tool. It's been pretty straightforward. I mean, it's, it's all the parts just in reverse, but there are a couple tips I can uh, give you, uh, things that I've learned that help me a little bit. Um, but anyway, first start off with your slide, just like this. Uh, get your barrel. Now you're just sliding your barrel back in. Make sure this piece that pivots here, make sure that's just down just so it doesn't get in the way. Sliding it back through the front here. Make sure that's uh, all the way back and just kind of sitting in place. Now this piece you want to rotate upwards. Okay, so it's straight up and down. Just like that. Uh, now you can put your guide rod back in. Your guide rod, you're going to notice, has a curved part. That's the part that rests against the barrel, okay, once it's in. Uh, pretty straightforward, but it is worth mentioning. That has to be uh, on the barrel, just like that. So just push it through the, the front here and then bring it back. So it's closest to this piece as you can get it. And it's just resting in place right now. Again, that piece kind of fell over. Make sure that's straight up and down. That's going to be important once you uh, put your, your um, slide uh, lever back in. So now you want to just put your frame through the slide. Just line up the, uh, the tracks. Put it through the slide. Okay, flip the gun upside down. Now remember I was uh, showing you the takedown notch here, the small notch. You want to put that directly above this square right here, okay? So just put your slide back so it's right above that, okay? You can see that there. Now this is probably the more difficult or one of the most difficult parts of putting this back together is just getting this piece back in properly. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, but it sometimes it takes some fiddling. You see there the hole is uh, obstructed a little bit. That's not quite lined up. So you want to do is move your barrel back and forth just a little bit to get that hole lined up perfectly. Okay, so your lever is going to go in. Now notice on this lever, on the tip here, there's uh, a little lip. Well, let me put this gun down for a second. This little lip here on this side, that part right there, once this uh, lever's in, is going to go right up against this little nib. It, you're going to start towards the bottom and push up to kind of click it in place. This is spring-loaded here, and that's going to move out of the way once it, it catches it. But I found that if you put this, if you put this uh, straight in and downwards on this, it's not going to it's not going to snap in. It's going to give you a lot of resistance, and it's not working properly. You want to kind of pivot it in. So let me put this in. Make sure everything's lined up here. Oh, kind of went out of place. I got to fiddle with this a little. Actually, putting this in is a little little easier upside down. I'll move that barrel a little bit. Get that piece in. Again, my uh, slide went out of place a little bit, so I want to push that back, make sure the, the notch is lined up. Move the barrel so you have that piece. Oh, you know what? The piece fell, uh, fell over. This is one of the problems here. I've got to take the slide back off and show you this. This piece had fallen over, so it's not properly aligned anymore. Okay? Put this back here. So you want to lift that back up so it's straight up and down. See, this is where the 
this is what I'm talking about. It's kind of a pain in the butt to do this. Most of the time it's going to fall in place. Everything will be fine. But every now and then this happens where it falls over. And then it's just kind of an annoyance. Anyway, put your slide back on. Okay. Make sure your takedown notch is uh, above the square. Now put your, your lever in. Now it just fell right in place. Okay, now it's, it's lined up. Everything's lined up. So now, uh, like I said, instead of pushing this downwards like this, you want to kind of rock it back and forth or bring it to this point here. And now you're pushing kind of down as you're going in. Okay, and that's going to snap right in place just like that. Okay. Um, next thing you want to do is bring your slide forward. Okay, all the way forward. And then put your safety on. Uh, this is something also that no one, I didn't really find out until I started actually doing this, is that when I, when I tried to do the next steps, the slide would be moving up and down. I found that if you just pop your safety back on, just like when we disassembled it, uh, it's going to lock it in place so it won't move. Next thing you want to do is put this piece in. Remember, this piece will only go in like this with those prongs facing that way. Okay, push it all the way down so it's flush, and then rotate it back towards you. Now you can put your recoil spring in. Okay, drop that around your guide rod. And finally, putting this piece in. Now what I do is I'll, I'll use two fingers to push it down. Once the actual metal is within the frame, just like that, okay, then I will rest it against the hard surface and then use my tool to push it down the rest of the way. Okay, to save on my fingers. Then you just want to rotate this back all the way uh, so it's even. Now I only put this a little bit just to show you. Uh, this, now there's all the pressure built up on this spring, so once you put this, push this uh, even, this piece is going to click in. You know, you're, you're going to know once it lines up, just like that. You heard the click. Now you want to, of course, test this. Make sure that it is functional, everything's working properly. Uh, take your safety back off and rack your slide a couple times, and everything seems to be working good. You want to drop your hammer um, by squeezing the trigger. But also holding it, you know, so you don't dry fire. Just let that come down, you know, nice and slow. Uh, then put your magazine back in and do the um, uh, rack the slide one more time. It should lock back, which it did. And then uh, you know everything's functional, ready to go. So, and again, you can drop your hammer. So that's the reassembly of the 1911. Um, really, like I said, once you know it, you don't forget it. It's like anything else, you just have to get used to doing it. Uh, it may be a little intimidating at first, and especially this step right here for me was frustrating at first because I didn't really know to do that and to kind of pivot it in place. I just kind of just kept pushing on it, and I, I was thinking, why isn't this working? But you, know, you, you don't want to force things, you know, it, especially when you're, when you're dealing with a, a gun like this. You don't want to force any parts. Obviously, if you bend things out of shape, it's not going to work properly, and of course, that's a huge uh, potential hazard. Um, so, anyway, I hope this video was, uh, was informative and useful, and, and uh, I thank you for watching. Take care.